enjoy our home flow series that you can find out on um, YouTube channel. I know Mish has been posting some awesome flows as well as sculpts. And today I'm going to be taking you through a twist and flow. I've had a few requests, so I'm happy to bring it to you from our home. Today in twisting, it's important to notice the cues in terms of lengthening the side body and opening up the collarbones and the upper back, so the shoulder blades. So that's going to give us this length in the side body to be able to twist the torso. And I really want us to focus on twisting from the torso from our third chakra. It's such a good way to energize the body with our digestive fire, but also to cleanse the body and maybe get rid of some of those toxins. I know a lot of us are not used to being stagnant um, and staying inside. So I hope this flow really helps you. Please encourage your friends and family to um, let's get started right away. I'm sitting up on a pillow, so you might want to grab one now from your, from your bed or from your living room. Because it's really nice to sit up tall with the, the knees below the hips, so you have this downward flow of energy. So I'll give you a few moments to go and grab your prop. And then when you're ready, you'll just rest the hands lightly on the kneecaps. You'll softly close the eyes. beginning of your yoga practice. Try to let go of your work emails, your to-do list. Moms, I know you must have your hands full. Try to let go of that just for the next 40 to 45 minutes. But don't fight with the mind, just allow the thoughts to come and go. Just like we observe the breath in yoga Let's cultivate some deep, full breaths before we move into our Ujjayi Pranayama, which is victorious breath, which is that audible inhale and exhale. So to help us get there, let's exhale all the air out. Let's take a deep, full breath in through the nose, inhale, and exhale side out the mouth. Making the sound big, inhale through the nose, Lips are sealed this time. Audible breath in through the nose. Audible breath out through the nose. And this is our yogic breath, Ujjayi Pranayama. Breath in through the nose. Breath out through the nose. It's an audible inhale. And an audible exhale. A few more like this. Breathe it in. chin slightly, begin to flutter the eyes open, allowing light back into the vision, and then lifting the head up. We're going to place the hands alongside the body, coming onto finger stand, taking a side bend here, walking the right hand out. Take a big inhale up and out of that lift hip flexor, and exhale, reaching over towards the right. Big inhale here, breathing in, and breathing out creating length in the left side, breathe in and out, full breath in and a full breath out, good, inhale coming back to center, walking the left hand over this time. 
down, big inhale, lift the right arm up to the ceiling, and exhale, leaning over towards the left, opening the right lung up, right rib cage, breathe in, breathe it out, take an inhale, and exhale, breathe in, and breathe out. Good, inhale, coming back to center, interlacing hands, Loose interlaces, the palms do not have to be together. We're going to separate the palms. And I'm going to place on the nape of the neck to where the hairline starts, facing the thumbs down. So they're on the occipital lobe. We're going to take some seated cat cows here. So taking a big inhale as you arch the spine, gazing up, the collarbones will board and the elbows will extend outwards. And as you exhale, tuck the chin, drawing everything and elbows in, lift the lower ribs in. Good, inhale to arch the spine, gazing up, the heart begins to open. And as you exhale, tuck the chin, drawing everything in. A few more like this, inhale to arch, gazing up, collarbones broaden. And exhale, tuck and round the back, hugging the core in. Two more, inhale to arch, gazing up. Exhale to tuck and round. Inhale, arch, gazing up. And exhale to tuck and round. So, so good, everybody. Inhale, coming back to center, hands go down. Big inhale, palms press. See the hands gazing up at the ceiling. And exhale, drawing the prayer through midline. This is yoga, linking breath and movement. Big inhale, reaching up, palms press. Hasta Uttanas, exhale, draw prayer to midline. A few more before we change. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale to prayer. Last one, inhale, reaching up, palms press, and prayer through midline. Good, gentle twist now, inhale, reaching the arms up. Good, left hand outside of right knee, right hand goes behind you for support. Big inhale to lift the chest, exhale, turning towards the side. Big inhale here, lifts, and exhale, maybe turning the neck towards the back wall. Big stretch here for the neck, inhale, and exhale. Use the inhale to create length. Breathe in. And exhale to deepen the twist. For one more here. Breathe it in. And breathe it out. Good. Inhale, coming back to center. Palms press, see hands gazing up. And exhale, right hand outside of left knee. Left hand behind you. Big inhale, lifts chest. And exhale, turn to the side wall. Big inhale, lift. And exhale, maybe turning towards the back wall. Big breath in, and a big breath out. Inhale, and exhale. Let's take one more here, lengthen the inhale, and exhale, make the twist count. Good, inhale, coming back to center, palms pressing, hands gazing up, drawing prayer through midline. Cat cow now, regular cat cow, so moving your prop up off to the side. I'm gonna move my towards the back. Coming onto hands and knees. Setting up well for cat cow. Wrist the direct underneath the shoulders and then look down at the knee. Make sure the knees are directly underneath the hips. So cat cow, everything is working here. I'm pushing down into the feet. Feet are engaged. Take a big inhale to arch the spine, gazing up. This is our cow pose. And as we tuck the chin, drawing the navel into the spine for cat pose. Good, inhale to arch, gazing up. And exhale, round the back, drawing everything in. Three more, inhale, arch, gazing up. And exhale, tuck and round. Two more, inhale, arch. Exhale, round. Last one, four, down dog. Inhale, arch, gaze up. And exhale, to tuck and round. Good, neutral spine pose, walking the hands towards the top of the mat. Tuck the toes. Keep a bend in the knees, so almost like you're bringing the torso to touch the thighs, lift the hips up high, downward facing dog. First, downward facing dog, so let's all pedal out the feet, bending one knee and bending the other. Opening up the backs of the legs here, the hamstrings, quadriceps. Everybody, let's shake the head out, no. Shake the head out, yes. 
take some deep, full breaths here. Once you're done with your movement, find stillness in your downward facing dog. Cues for downward facing dog. It's such a strong pose. You can use this as an active rest throughout practice today. Pushing down into the hands. The shoulder blades are externally rotating so the inner elbows are facing forward. The hips are lifting up. At the same time, the heels are making their way down towards the mat. So this upward flow of energy from the hands to the hips, downward flow of energy from the hips to the feet. Big breath in and a big breath out. Take an inhale, breathe in. Breathe out, a full breath in and a full breath out. Good, inhale, lift the right leg high, down dog split. Exhale, draw the knees to the nose, step the foot in between the hands. Lowering back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, arms are gonna reach up, Anjane Asana, crescent moon, gazing up at the ceiling. Hands are alongside the ears, gazing up. Three breaths, inhale, and exhale. For two more, breathe in. Breathe it out, a full breath in, and a full breath out. Good, nice and easy, hands go alongside the front foot. Untuck the back toes, go back into this low lunge, twist it out, inhale, lifting the right arm up to the ceiling, low lunge, twist. Hug the core in, just like we did before when we're seated. Big inhale, lifts the chest, and exhale to twist. Two more, breathe it in. Breathe out, take a full breath in, and a full breath out. Good, circling the hand forward and down, step back, plank pose, inhale in plank, exhale, hug everything in here, one straight line, lowering yourself down to the belly. For Cobra Pose, Bhujangasana lifts the chest up, hugging the elbows in, gazing ahead of you, maybe eyes are closed here. The legs are even working here. Quadriceps are lifting up, kneecaps are lifting up. Two more breaths, inhale and exhale for a breath in and a breath out. Listen, tuck the toes, lift the kneecaps, lift the quadriceps, hug the core in, breathing in, lifting up into plank, inhale, downward facing dog. So good everybody, inhale, lift the left leg high, down dog split. Exhale, drawing knee to nose, foot in between the hands. Anjane Asana with the low, the back knee untucked, toes untucked. Inhale, lifting everything up, gazing up at ceiling. Big opening here for the hip flexor and the quadricep for two more breaths. Inhale and exhale for a breath in and a breath out. Good, hands are gonna go down, untuck back toes, coming back into the low lunge, inhale. Lifting the left arm up this time, lifting up and out of that left shoulder blade, gazing up right shoulder blade, excuse me, breath in. And a breath out for two more, breathe in. And breathe out for one more breath, inhale. And exhale. Circling so hand forward and down for plank pose, here we go, breathing in. One straight line, hug the elbows in, lowering all the way down. For Bhujangasana Cobra Pose, lifts the chest up. Three breaths, push down into the feet, inhale. And exhale, breathe it in. Breathe it out, full breath in. And a full breath out. Go lower the chest down, get ready. Lifting kneecaps, coming onto the tips of the toes. Big inhale, exhale, pushing up into plank. Lift up, downward facing dog. Everybody take a breath in, take a breath up. For Namaskars, gazing forward, make your way to the top of the mat. Maybe step, step, maybe float. Take a halfway lift when you get there. Take a big inhale and exhale to fall. Inhale, arms reach up, palms press, see the hands gazing up past the Uttanas. Exhale, drawing prayer through midline, four. Bending knees. The right foot steps back here on a low lunge. Lower the back knee, untuck the toes. Inhale, lift up. Exhale, hands go down, twist. We just did this in the warm up. Make it fluid, hands go down, lift up, downward facing dog. 
So inhale, plank pose. Exhale, knees, chest, and chin. Ashtanga Namaskar, the hips are high. Sliding forward, cobra pose, lifts the heart. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lifting the right leg, foot in between the hands. Stepping forward, halfway lift, inhale, scoops chest. Exhale, fold. Inhale, reach up left side. Drawing prayer, midline fold. Bending knees, left foot back, lower knee, untuck toes, Anjane Asana. Hands go down, twist it out, lower lunge, twist, lift up. Hand goes forward and down, downward facing dog. Stay with me, inhale, plank. Knees, chest, and chin, hips are high, elbows are in. For cobra pose, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, lift the left leg. Foot in between hands. Stepping forward, halfway lift, inhale. Exhale, fold. Round two, inhale, arms reach. Drawing prayer through midline fold, Uttanasana. Bending knees, right foot back, lower down, Anjane. Hands go down, twist, inhale. Hands go forward and down for plank now. Inhale and plank. Exhale, one straight line to belly. For cobra, inhale. Exhale, downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg lifts. Foot in between hands. Forward, top of mat, halfway lift. And fold. Inhale, reach up. And fold. Good. Bending knees, left foot back. Inhale, Anjane. Hands go down, twist. Hands go forward and down for plank. Hold plank strong. Exhale, belly. For cobra. But downward facing dog. Good. Big inhale. Left leg. Put in between hands. Stepping forward. Halfway lift. Inhale. And fold. Inhale. Arms reach. Last round before Surya Namaskar A. Fold. Bending knees. Right foot back. Lower down. Inhale. Arms today. Hands go down. Twist. Inhale. Hands go forward and down for plank. Listen. Lowering all the way down to belly for upward facing dog. Push down into the feet, lifting the hips up high. And downward facing dog. Inhale, right leg. Oops. Step foot in between your hands. Forward, halfway lift, inhale. Fold, inhale, lift up. Prayer midline, fold. Bending knees, left foot back, Anjane Asana, inhale. Hands go down, lift up, twist. You know where to go, circle hands forward and down for plank, inhale, lowering to belly for upward facing dog, lift the chest, exhale, downward facing dog, lifting the left leg, foot in between hands, stepping forward, half point lift, fold, Surya Namaskar A, inhale, arms reaching up, prayer midline fold, halfway lift prepares, for Chaturanga Dandasana if you want to jump back, we're bending everything, and lowering down with bent elbows. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Three breaths. Good, stay with me here. You still with me, breathe in. And breathe out. Take an inhale. Take an exhale. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Good, let's bend those knees, top of mat, here we go. Half a lift, inhale, fold. Two more rounds, inhale, arms reach up. Prayer midline, fold. Halfway lift, prepares. Bending everything for Chaturanga Dandasana. Upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Three full breaths. Remember to push down into the hands, up and out of shoulder blades. Two more breaths, inhale, and exhale. One more, breathe it in and breathe it out. For the last round here before we rest, big bend in the knees, keep the hips high, skip or float, top of mat, halfway lift, inhale and fold. Good, inhale, reach it up, prayer midline fold. Halfway lift, prepare. If you want something extra, we're going to jump back into Chaturanga Dandasana, come back into plank. And then lower down halfway. So advanced yogis, that's an option for you when we take our flows. Downward facing dog. Three breaths. Take an inhale and exhale.
exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Full breath in. Full breath out. Good. I promised you a rest. I'm going to walk the hands, maybe two handprints closer towards the feet to shorten downward facing dog. Twisting it out, the right hand is going to grab a hold of the left ankle. Big inhale here, and exhale, see if you can draw the chest closer towards the left quadricep, and I'm gazing underneath the left armpit, maybe gazing up at the ceiling. We're just here for three, for two, and one. Good. Placing the hand back down. Let's switch. So left hand outside of right ankle. Big inhale and exhale. Draw the chest closer, gazing underneath the right armpit, up at ceiling. Two more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Full breath in. Full breath out. Good. Coming back into downward facing dog options here. Downward facing dog, five breaths. Or if you'd like a rest, you can come into child's pose, wide knees. Coming down, bringing the forehead down, arms are extended out in front of you. Maybe rocking the forehead from side to side. If you're in downward facing dog and you want to make it interesting, you could flow through some cobra vinyasa. You'll gaze forward and you'll just reach the chest forward. Inhale, lift it up. We're gonna go back the way we came. So bending elbows and lift up. So it's almost like a push up. Diving the chest forward, inhale. And then lift it up. Exhale, we'll leave a hug. Gazing forward, lifting up. Exhale, downward facing dog. Good, if you're in child's pose, you have two more breaths before standing series. And one more breath. Good, let's all meet in our downward facing dog. Downward facing dog, everybody. Big breath in. Big breath out. We're going to use the core here because it's going to help us to twist. So without swinging this leg high, I'm going to use the core and I'm going to step the foot forward. So see if you can do that with me. You're going to hug the knee in and Step the foot forward. If it doesn't get there, say the foot only comes here, grab the back of the shin and push the foot forward. It does not matter. As long as the foot gets forward, take a big inhale to open up for our crescent moon. Big inhale here, and then exhale, open for our warrior two. Reverse up and back. Make sure that front knee stays bent. Side angle B with the right hand inside the foot. Inhale, lifting the left arm up to the ceiling. Big bend in the front knee. Make good contact with the right tricep and the right inner knee. Two more breaths. Inhale and exhale. For one more, breathe in and breathe it out. Good. Circling the hand forward and down. Down dog split to lift the leg up to release the hip flexor. Step foot in between the hands. Pyramid pose, straightening front leg. The back foot is going to hop in maybe three to six inches. Take a halfway lift, inhale, scoops chest up, and exhale, fold. If the hands can't reach the floor here, maybe put them on some big books that you have. It does not matter if the hands don't touch the floor. Any version of the pose is the pose. Important here, the legs are straight. Two more breaths, inhale and exhale. For one more breath, breathe it in and breathe it out. Good, low lunge, step back, plank, inhale, vinyasa. Maybe lowering to chaturanga, maybe lifting up and lowering halfway. Up dog, downward facing dog. You can take cobra, you don't have to take chaturanga dandasana for your vinyasa. You could take cobra or maybe it's chest chin, your choice. Without swinging the leg, the left foot is going to step forward. Inhale, rise it up for a high lunge. And then open up for warrior two pose. 
reverse up and back, inhale, side angle B, hand inside foot, top arm reaches up to ceiling, good contact with the left tricep, left inner knee, pushing down with the outer edge of that back foot for two more breaths, inhale, and exhale, breathe in, and breathe out. So good, everybody, circling the hand forward and down, releasing hip flexor, inhale, down dog split, exhale, foot in between hands, pyramid pose, straightening front leg, hopping back foot forward, inhale to lift the head up, and exhale to fold. Again, place the hands on some books or some yoga blocks if you have them. Try not to make this a tug of war with the hamstrings, try to see if you can soften down for two more breaths, inhale. And exhale, take a breath in, and take a breath out. Go to be bending front knee, lower lunge, step back, climb vinyasa. So again, you can take chaturanga. You can come up and lower down halfway. So upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Breathe it in, breathe it out. Good, we're gonna switch it up, but it starts the same. The right foot steps, inhale, rising up for a high lunge, arms alongside ears, opening up for warrior two. Reversing up and back. Shikhanasana now, straightening front leg, reaching forward and forward, out of the hips, lowering the hand down. And then inhale, left arm reaches up to ceiling. Energy in these fingers. Gazing up at ceiling. If you want more, lift the toes on the right foot. It's going to engage everything in that right leg. Two more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Breathe in. Breathe out. Circling the hand forward and down. Low lunge, down dog split. Foot in between the hands. Listen now. We're coming into a vault half moon. So we're going to come into it from a low lunge, so it's accessible for everybody. Left hand, you can maybe place it on that book again, or if the hand can touch the ground, place it on the mat. I'm going to launch off this back foot. I'm going to come into an inhale here, straighten the leg like in warrior three, and inhale, lifting the right arm up to the ceiling. Revolved half moon. Noticing the back foot is either dorsiflexed or it's flexed. Try not point the foot. Lifting up and out of those hip flexors. Stay with it. Two more. Inhale. And exhale. For one more. Breathing in. Breathing out. Nice and easy. Low lunge. Easy transition today. Step back. Plank. Vinyasa. Maybe you want to throw in some handstand hops. You're welcome to. If you want to throw in a chin stand, you're welcome to. Your practice, your choice. Downward facing dog is where we meet. Big breath. Big breath out. Stepping left foot forward, rising up for high lunge. Inhale. Exhale, open for two. Reverse up and back. Trikonasana, straightening front leg, reaching forward and down. Inhale, lifting up and out of shoulder blades, up and out of the hip flexors. Gazing up. If you did on the other side, then lift the left toes. Immediately you're going to notice this kneecap lifting up, quadricep is engaged, hug the core in, two more, inhale, and exhale for a breath in, and a breath out, good, hand goes forward and down, split, lift the leg, foot in between hands, revolt half moon, if you use on the other side, bring your block close to you or your book, you're going to place the right hand down. Launching off this right foot, take a big inhale. So leg comes straight first. And I'm twisting from the torso, not from the hips. And I'm inhale, lifting up, gazing up at ceiling. Flexing this back foot or dorsiflex. For two more, inhale. And exhale. One more. Breathe in. Breathe out. Good. Lowering down, vinyasa. Downward facing dog. So good, everybody. Last part of standing series here. Let's take a breath in. Let's take a breath out. Let's do one more together. Inhale. 
and exhale. That's swinging the leg, right foot steps, inhale, rise up, open for two, reverse. Side angle B, one breath everybody, inhale, lift up, right away straighten the leg, triangle pose. Gazing down, we're going to switch, this hand that's in the air is going to come down to where my right hand is for a bold trikonasana. So placing the hand down. If this is easy, you can place the hand to the outside of the foot. If it's too much with the legs, hop the feet forward like in pyramid pose. So placing hand, left hand inside of foot, outside of foot, inhale to lift the right arm up to the ceiling. Big balance here, hug the core in. Very deep twist. So good for the internal organs for two more breaths. Inhale and exhale for one more. Breathe in and breathe out. Good. Circling hand forward and down. Vinyasa. And downward facing dog. Left foot steps. Inhale, high lunge. Open for two. To reverse. Side end will be one breath, inhale, straighten the leg, triangle pose, good, gazing down, if you hop the foot forward like you did before, do it now, and we're going to switch the hands, so the right hand is going to come down, left hand is going to reach up for a bold triangle pose, just three breaths, I know it's a lot, two more breaths, one more breath. Beautiful work, everybody. Hands go down, vinyasa, child's pose. Downward facing dog, child's pose. Knees wide, arms extended, forehead goes down. Letting everything go here. Few breaths and we're going to carry on with our twisting series. We have some fun arm balances to look forward to. It's going to build on everything that we've already done in class today. And even if you haven't done the next series of poses, just try. One more breath. back downward facing dog. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. You're not swinging the leg. Right foot steps. High lunge. Rise it up. Drawing prayer through midline. Twisting towards the right. Left elbow outside of right knee. Make good contact there. Big inhale and exhale to twist. Gazing up the ceiling. This is too much. Lower the back knee like we did in our Anjane legs. It's going to help you to keep balance. Just for two more breaths, inhale and exhale for one more. Breathe it in and breathe it out. Good. Hands go down. Split the legs. Inhale. Drawing the right knee across the body to the left triceps. We're getting that nice twist. Inhale, lift the leg. Twist across the body. Hug the core in. Just one more. Inhale. And twist. Good. Place the foot down, downward facing dog. Inhale, left leg steps, rise. Prayer midline twist. Hooking the right elbow to left thigh. Big inhale, lifts chest. Exhale, gazing up the ceiling. Again, welcome to lower the back knee if you need to. For two more breaths, inhale. And exhale. For one more, breathe in. Breathe it out. Good. Hands go down, lifting left leg up. Join left knee, right tricep across the body. Inhale, lift leg. Right tricep, cross. Inhale, lift leg. And across the body. Place it down. Downward facing dog. I think you know we're going to go. Inhale, steps, foot, rise, high lunge. Prayer midline, twist. Option. Opening up the arms. Beautiful twist here, opening for the collarbones. 
Otherwise, you're going to take this variation of side crow with me. You're going to bring the hands down parallel. Fingers are facing forward. Chaturanga arms. Most arm balances in yoga are about chaturanga arm. So you're going to bend the elbows. I'm going to shift the weight forward, forward, forward. Keep gazing forward. And then the legs are just going to spring up. And I'm going to straighten the legs. Stay with the three more breaths. Variation of side crow. Two more breaths. One more breath. Come back the way you came. Try make a grace one. No, it's not easy. Inhale, lift. Hands go down nice and easy. Downward facing dog. Let's try that on the other side. Stepping left foot. Inhale, rise up. I'm going to do it this way so you can see. Twist. Good. Hands are going to go down. So fingers are facing forward. Bending elbows, just like in Chaturanga. Shifting the weight forward, forward, forward. And then lifting the legs up. Make sure the legs are coming. Might feel different on the sides. Two more breaths. <laughs> One more breath. Woo, lowering down. Coming back the way we came. Zipping hands down. Downward facing dog. We did it. Breathe it in. Breathe it out. Breath in. Breath out. Good. We're making our way down onto our mat now. So gazing forward. You're going to step, step. Or maybe you're going to jump. And you're going to land down. We're going to take the boss in a boat pose. So you're going to lift the feet. Grab a hold of the backs of the thighs. Maybe this is enough. I'd rather you sit up tall, then have straight legs and dome in the back. Sitting up nice and tall. Otherwise, extending the arms alongside the body, palms are up. Working the core here for three more breaths. Inhale and exhale. Stay with it. Breathe in. Breathe out. One more full breath in. Full breath out. And release. So good, everyone. Let's take a spinal twist. So sitting in Sukhasana, options here. You should feel nice and open. We've done some really deep twists. So you should be able to place the left foot outside of the right knee. But if this is too much, because both sit bones should be pushing down into the mat, if one is lifting up, then extend the right leg in front of you. It's going to be much more comfortable. So take your version of the twist. You're going to bring the left hand behind you. Inhale, lifting that right arm up. And exhale, hooking elbow twist. If you have a bind, take the bind. It's a really good option. If you're going to take the bind, this right hand is going to go behind. I'm going to reach for my left. And I'm going to twist. For two more breaths. One more breath. Inhale, coming back to center. Nice open twist just to reset. And then switching legs. So the right leg is on top this time. Again, extend that bottom leg if it's going to make you feel more comfortable. Right hand goes behind you. Inhale, left arm reaches. Exhale, twist. If you have the bind, take the bind now. So the left hand is going to reach down. I'm going to grab, grab a hold. Oops. I'm going to grab a hold of the right. Taking your variation of the pose. One more breath. Inhale, come back to center. Open twist to reset. Inhale, coming back to center. Good. Come to lay down on the backs. We didn't do too much back bending today. So I'm going to offer two bridge poses and one chakrasana wheel pose. If you would like to take a supported bridge and you have a book that is comfortable or a yoga block, you'll lift that up and slide it underneath the sacrum, this lower flat part of the spine. Otherwise, you're going to take bridge with me. So bridge pose. Feet are parallel. Inhale, so I'm going to lift the hips up, then interlace hands alongside the mat. Roll onto tops of shoulder blades. I'm lifting the hips nice and high. 
should feel a big opening across the chest here, a nice length in the side body. Maybe closing the eyes. One more breath. Releasing bind and then lowering yourself down upper back, middle back, lower back, and sacrum. So good. Option to take a second bridge pose, then we're going to come into our wheel. Okay? So, second bridge, lifting hips up, opposite interlace, so non habitual thumb on top, lifting the hips, maybe lifting the hips higher this time, maybe lifting the heels. For a few more breaths. If you're on that block and supported bridge or your book, stay there for this entire time. Just allowing the spine to rest. If you're in this bridge, releasing bind, lowering the heels down, lower yourself down. Take a breath. Take a breath out. Good. Chakrasana, over down your asana. Wheel pose. Placing the hands alongside the ears, fingers are facing forward. I can't stress this enough, use the legs. The legs are much stronger than the shoulders and try not to come onto the crown of the head. It's a lot of pressure for these very small vertebrae that we have in our neck. So if we use the legs, already I'm pushing down into the legs here. As soon as my hands press down, my feet press in. So big inhale lifts the feet and then everything will lift up. Gazing down at the space in between the hands. We're here for five breaths. For four, for three, for two, and one. Good. Tucking chin, lower yourself safely down, upper back, middle back, lower back, and sacrum. If you're on that book or that block, you can remove that now. We're going to take constructive rest, so walking the feet out towards the long edge of your sticky mat. The knees will knock into touch. And the hands will be alongside the body with the palms facing up and the eyes are closed. Neutral spine position, so restoring the spine after back bending. The spine returns to its natural curvature. This will help so you don't feel any pinching or any tightness later on today. While we're in this restorative pose, let's start to notice the effects of our yoga practice. And we can start to let the breath go, it's a natural rhythm of breath, no control of the breath. Maybe you'll notice the breath is naturally a bit deeper. Muscles are feeling longer. Maybe the heart is feeling more open. Maybe the mind is feeling more still. Keeping the eyes closed, very gentle supine twist here, teeing out the arms. And keeping the palms facing up and feet where they are, just let the knees fall naturally over to the right, maybe turning the head towards the left. We've done so much deep twisting today, so allow this twist to be nice and soft. Happy baby pose, so just lifting the feet up, grabbing out of laser before. 
here to keep the collarbones nice and broad. And using the strength of the forearm to draw the knees in close towards the body. The entire length of the spine is pushing down into the mat. Happy baby now drawing knees into chest, giving yourself a gentle squeeze off an asana, lifting the chin up and drawing the knees in towards the eye socket. And then final resting pose. Well done everybody. Final resting pose, Shavasana. Taking up space, allowing the feet to fall out naturally towards the side. Hands are alongside the body, palms are facing up, eyes are closed. If you'd like to add the visualization for your Shavasana, you could imagine a ball of bright yellow light in the space above the navel, the solar plexus. Third chakra, Mani Purush chakra. The chakra we've been working on today throughout class. So as you inhale, you see that light brighten. And as you exhale, you see the light fade. So inhale, yellow light. important pose in yoga, so take your time. Otherwise, you will bend the knees, let the feet come down to the floor. Right hand behind you, rolling onto right side, remaining there for a moment. Keeping eyes closed, rise up. Comfortable seat, just like we started class, Asana, maybe grabbing your prop, bringing the prayer to heart center, orange the mudra. Final moments here to recognize the effects of your yoga practice. Final moments to offer peace and love and light to those who are sick less fortunate than ourselves. And to bow down to the love and light, compassion, forgiveness that exists within every one of us. Namaste. Thank you so much everybody for being with me today. Um, yeah, I hope you have a good rest of your week. I know it's tough being inside, but please follow us, Yoga Rocks, on Instagram. We're taking requests, so today we did a twisting class. If you feel like you need back bending, forward folding, please let Nish, Jess, Sam, Hannah, myself, any of the teachers know we are here for you. Thank you for practicing with us in the comfort of your home. And we will keep uploading content for you always, always here for you guys. And thank you.